What's up guys, it's Baiba here and welcome to another Junction's Impact videos. Uh, today I am going to tell you guys which stat is better between critical rate percentage increase and attack percentage increase. Uh, I've done some testing and I will be sharing them with you guys. So if you pay attention, some of the artifacts uh, can have a critical rate or attack as the main stats. As you can see right here, uh, I have a Berserker Battle Mass with attack main stat of 38, 34.8%. I also have another one here, which is Berserker Battle Mass, also plus 16, uh, critical rate plus 23.2%, which is a main stat. So, uh, sometimes like, it can be very, very tough choice to decide which one you want to level up. Like, should you be focused on getting more critical rate, or should you be focused more on a gain my attack uh, percentage. So, uh, if you are wondering which can gauge you more DPS, I am here to help you answer that question. Uh, I've done some testing and collect enough data. Uh, so, how did I do my testing? So, as you, as you can see right here, like to do this test, I need to uh, upgrade two of my uh, uh, battle mass here to level 16, so I can do the proper testing here. So one of my uh, uh, battle mass here have an attack of 34.8% and my other battle mass have a critical rate of 23.2%. So which one is better? So obviously I had to test like, each of them separately. Uh, so you can see this one have a critical rate 23.2%, defense 8.7%, a critical damage 10.6%, attack 3.3%. And the other one have attack 34.8%, HP 191, defense 31, uh, elemental mastery 34, energy recharge 4.1%. So, so the second one here, it lacking some attack. So what I do is, um, so when I use, so when I do the testing with this battle mass here, which is attack 34.8%, uh, I am using another flower here, which gave additional attack 3.5% and critical damage 3.3% to make up for the missing attack that I do not have from the first uh, battle mass here. So that I have this, the same amount. So I, I am comparing just the critical rate 23.2% main stats with the attack 34.8% main stat here. So um, like I know I know there are a lot of people who love to build up your character with a lot of like critical rates that I myself include. That is another reason why, one of the reasons why I I upgrade my uh, battle mass here to level 16 and I actually want to test it out myself. Uh, but from the data I got from my testing, a uh, more attack is actually slightly better than more critical rates. So let me show you guys the data that I have collected here. So this is the data that I've collected. Uh, so I will show you. I will show you guys how I did how I did my testing uh, at the end of the videos. But uh, so here I have the test for using the critical rate uh, battle mass, which is 23.2% uh, critical rate. And at here, uh, the total damage per round. This is what you want to care about here. So the average per hit, the average damage per hit for round 1 is 498. Uh, the average damage per hit for round 2 is pretty low, which is only 454. And the average da damage per hit for round 3 is 500. So round is every time I do a test, it's one round. So when I do one round of testing, I have this many damage per hit here. So I perform a series of like single attack on the bots. So for every time, like for every round, I perform a series of single attack on the bots and I collect the data, like how much damage I deal per attack. And I write them down here. So I come down, I come up with the average per hit here per round and the overall average damage per hit for using the critical rate battle mass is 484. So overall, as for using the, the battle mass that gave 34.8% attack increase, uh, I also did uh, three rounds of testing. 
uh, every round I do a single attack on the boss and I collect the data here per attack so uh, so the attack is definitely higher but they have a less critical hit from uh, every testing here so this is the data so I will be sharing this data I will put this link in the description box for the videos in case you want to take a closer look here but uh, let's go to the average per hit here so for the average per hit uh, average damage per hit for using percent uh, damage uh, attack increase uh, pretty consistent and pretty high like higher than a critical rate so 505 for round number one uh, 500 point six for round number two and 512 for round number three and the overall average damage per hit is 506 which is 10 12 more 12 more in average comparing to the critical rate uh, battle max so so that so this data I will be sharing with you uh, sharing in the description box and I will show you guys how I did the test at the end of this video um, so like having more attack is slightly slightly better than having a uh, more critical rate and uh, if you look at my attribute so this is the character that I use for testing uh, I have a critical damage of 63.2 percent which is it's okay like not super high so um so like when when having more critical rate can be better than having more attacks so like if you using a weapon that have a critical damage bonus for example uh if you look at some of the weapon if you look at this one right here like harbinger of dawn uh you got a critical damage 34.5 percent at the substats so like if you use if you use like a weapon with a substat that can help increase critical damage then it makes sense for you to increase more critical rates because if you have a lot more critical damage bonus uh, having more critical rate will bring up uh, will make your DPS uh, higher than having more attack or or if like you you build having some like, special effect that involve critical hits for example some item some artifact set or some character gain a special effect when they perform a critical hit if that's the case then you can definitely go with more critical rates but other than that like if you just have the basic critical damage bonus uh, definitely go with more like, attack uh, increase and now I'm going to show you guys uh, side by side videos how I did the testing.
that is how I did the testing. Uh, I used Yin skill to hit the boss one at a time. Uh, I then collect the data from multiple boss one and then store them in the spreadsheet. Uh, if you think there is a flaw in how I do my testing, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, other than that, I hope you find this video, video informative. Uh, thanks again for stopping by my channels. Enjoy your days.